So last week my family and I were in Mexico for our first family vacation in over four years since the pandemic. And as we were relaxing on the beach, I had an idea. We saw a couple people fishing and I've seen people do catch and cook videos before and we've never done one, so I figured why not. So the next day we actually rented a small sailboat, spoke with the captain. So what's the most common fish? Barracudas, groupers, mackerel. Balance, balance. We wanted to uh, catch a fish and then I'm going to make a fish dish right on the beach today. And that is my goal. And we had planned just to fish for an hour. And when we spoke to the captain about our chances of catching something, he was a bit pessimistic. And he was saying, you want to for sure catch something, you should go out for at least a couple hours. He was like, I can't guarantee you anything. When we got out into the water, we were both a bit iffy, really hoping just to catch at least one fish. But immediately as we got out into the deeper water, our captain actually caught a small fish. Do you want something? And we were super happy. We were like, okay, at least we can cook one fish. But it only got better as time went on as we ended up actually catching a bunch of fish. Both got something. Oh, that's a bonito, bonito, bonito. Yeah. Ah, look at that. The fish we caught most actually is called bonito, which you're probably familiar with. Very satisfying. It's part of the same family as tuna and mackerel. And I think we caught around three or four of them. And so yeah, we were super happy. And it's funny because at one point our captain felt a huge bite of something and it just completely ripped his line. And he was like, wow, that fish was probably like 20, 30 pounds. Our rods were a bit weak for the bigger fish, but we did catch some decent sized fish. And overall, the short fishing trip was a huge success. As we got back to shore, we got a few things ready. Great success. What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, yeah and we are ready to catch and cook on the beach. So I hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoy this content because we both love making these videos for you guys and you guys are gonna see what we made. Guys, as you know, we caught the fish. Now the fish is dead. I don't mean dead, I mean very fresh. So we still have the bonito, we have the jackfish. So look at the body of this color. Hasn't even changed yet. You know what that means, right? When the fish is really dead, the color changed to gray. You can see the color, it's beautiful. So we all clean up, take all the gut out, everything nice and fresh, look at the eyeball. Since we're in Mexico, I want to use the local ingredients which I have here. Fresh onion, ginger, cilantro, and also uh, some fresh... Is this cilantro? No, no. Uh, no. Uh, cine... Serrano. Serrano chilies. Also, you know, I got some episote. Episote is a really wide range of usage in Mexico because this is their tarragon almost. Look at the body of this fish, it's so fresh. Oh, look at that. You know, we're just gonna take the thick scale. You do a couple of markings from the back and the back. You can, you can feel the, uh, the bones. There you go, one side off. Most important, take off, you know, the little bit of that, the unnecessary. We keep this on the side. Now I'm going to do another fish. I want to try out this. This one looks like a hammer jack. So I'm gonna split this right in the middle. Look at this beautiful filet. Eat it like sashimi. It's so beautiful. All tuna and bonito family. I want to marinate it all with soy sauce. Let it cure. Let it marinate. So meanwhile, I want to keep a little grape. I'm gonna make a juice, like a citrus juice. Look at the local beautiful Mexico citrus we have here. I have a coconut. I'm gonna make coconut water, use it as a liquid to make a very nice kind of citrus ceviche. Ah, nice. I have lemon juice. I have lime. A little bit more lime, a little bit more lemon. A little grapefruit juice. I have cilantro here, Thai basil. A little bit of apazote. Not so much, apazote is very strong. I have ginger here. One ginger. Goes into the juice, some serrano. Serrano has more fragrance. Stir, stir, stir. You know, a little bit of soy sauce. Stir, stir, stir. Some onion. Onion inside. Let it marinate. Mm. Close it back in, very thin onions. You know what I like about onions? I always like onions, a little bit of ice water. Rinse, 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 stir, stir, stir. A little bit of julienne ginger, very fine julienne. You don't need to be like hair. Now we're gonna dry it. 
dry the fish. Now you have the soya taste, you know, making sure it's nice and dry because we're gonna throw it right in the charcoal. Nice and hot. What I need, I just wanna drop the fish. I wanna sear the meat from the, uh, from the fish. Just from the outside. Yeah. Mm, so hot. Mucho, mucho, gras, uh, mucho caliente. This is how they say it in Mexico. Ah, look at that. Oh, perfect. Now, now the fish is cooked. Prevent of cooking right away. Perfect, perfect. Mm, love the charcoal smell. Now we have all these ingredients. Huh? So perfect, look at that. A little bit cooked, and that's what I'm looking for. So now I'm going to try a different fish. Same family, but different, right? So this one is the same as this one. Nice, which one is this? See, the meat is much whiter, son. Look at that. You see, this is a different fish. This is what I like about, you know, the sea offer you different things, but not the same. Okay, there's one more fish we're gonna cut. Look at this beautiful. So many different uh, perception about orange. You know, some country, they say orange supposed to be all orange, you know. But in Mexico, they also have green orange. Now I'm gonna give some grapes, sliced grapes. Mm -hmm. Little grape for citrus. Put this juice right into, strain it right into this ceviche. Mm. And now I'm going to throw some fruits on the top. I have grapes, I have citrus, cilantro chili, shaved onion, I have some cilantro leaf, a little Thai basil, a little bit of ginger. You know, this ceviche gotta have lots of like little taste. Yeah, it's all about good taste. A little good olive oil. Drizzle, 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 a little bit of salt. This is, I call it the sun god. Everything in the bite. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Bon appetit. Mm -hmm. Cheers. What is that? Ceviche. Mm. Wow. What do you taste, son? You know what you're doing, huh? It okay. tastes kind of meaty, juicy, and the water actually mm. is coconut water. Mm. No waste, right? Mm -hmm. What does the fish taste like? Fish is so fresh, so dense. Do you need more acidity? No. No, no, no so balanced. Is it balanced? Only thing I wish is it was a bit colder, but that's yeah. because of where we are, obviously. Yeah. Thumbs up, success. If you like this video, press the button and press the notification bell. Nova Scotian. <laughs> no, notification. No, now you f me up now. No notification bell, like button, blah, Comment. blah, blah. You got pretty good at that. <laughs> I'm impressed.